Yo, what's good? Welcome back to another DIY video. Today in this one, we're gonna try to recreate the undercover hybrid denim. This one looks pretty straightforward. The pants themselves, basically the two front panels are denim, the original base layer. And then the back side are sweats or sweaters, basically made into the back panels. And all of that just sewn together. I just came back from the thrift store and I got everything there that I'll need for this. So I got the base layer pants and then the two sweaters that I'll need. And I'm pretty excited because honestly, I really like what I picked up. And I'll show you guys. So first off, let's start with the jeans because you know, it's just the jeans. Got some Levi's. These are some Levi's 511 size 32, 32. I have not tried these on yet. And honestly, I've never seen a black tag like this, but this was exactly the color that I was looking for. And it's funny because like everything in that thrift store today was like, gone the racks were pretty much empty i'm pretty sure it's because of the holidays and everything like that but this was like near the end of like my section of pants in my size and uh yeah hopefully it fits me but i mean it's in my size so we'll see now for the two sweaters on the back the colors are almost the same which is kind of unfortunate i wish one was just like a little bit lighter than the other one i couldn't resist their graphics so the first one is hogwarts yeah very nice very nice and then the second one I mean, it's very simple, but you can't go wrong with it. This one is in a navy blue color. So again, it's not that different in color. The other one's black, obviously. But yeah, here is a champion crew neck. Actually, it's a hoodie, but it's champion. So two really good pickups, really good graphics. The only unfortunate thing is just the color difference. But honestly, like, who really cares? At my thrift store, you can't try pants on. So I didn't know until I got home that unfortunately, these pants, which I had really high hopes for, were way too tight on me. I mean, I couldn't even button them closed. So I decided to go with these Levi's 541s. I mean, the buzz a little droopy though, cause the waist kind of big on me and uh, I'm just giving leg day, but we're gonna go with them. As per usual, we gotta deconstruct the pants, not fully though, but only to separate the front and back panels from each other. But the main thing is, is to keep the two front panels together at the zipper fly and crotch area. I took apart the sweaters by removing the sleeves, pouches, and hoods, leaving me with the main graphics on big single layer fabrics that are easy to work with. Using the base layer denim back panels as a pattern, I placed each sweater cut out where I thought they looked best and pinned them in place. With it pinned, I flipped it over to have the base layer pattern on top and used my rotary tool to cut out the sweaters into the shape of it. With the sweater fabric still pinned, I sewed them together with a single straight stitch along the edges. To make the top of the panel look more like a waistband, I decided to splice in a part of the waistband from the sweater to make it look more like actual sweatpants. For the one pocket on the back, I made it from a section of a sleeve from the Harry Potter sweater to add a bit of a design to the pants. On the front, I outlined where the distressings will be made and then used my rotary tool to make the holes. On Photoshop, I made the text that will go on the front of the pants and then use my Cricut cutter to cut out a stencil of it. So I can use that to spray paint the words onto the pants. To prevent any leakage while spray painting, I sprayed some temporary adhesive onto the back of the stencil and pressed it firmly onto the pants to keep it from lifting. And then after that, I taped off the surrounding areas of the pants. Not bad, but we gotta see how it is in the daylight and when it dries because I can see all the little drops of black paint on this side. This is clean, this not so much. Definitely imperfect. <laughs> when the paint was dry, I sewed back together all four panels of the pants. Since the waist of the original pants was big for me, it became even more loose after replacing it with looser fabric. So I hand sewed in some belt loops to the sweater panels so that I can wear a belt if I wanted to wear these out.
The last step is to sew a zigzag stitch around the pan leg openings to prevent them from fraying. Overall, this project was pretty chill. I didn't really learn that much, mainly because like all the steps I did to make these pants was like all the stuff that I learned from previous projects. Now the thing about these pants is that the waist is really big on me. Usually I could wear size 34 and they wouldn't like be as loose as these are, but especially when I converted the backside to like the sweat design, um, it became even more loose. So adding in these belt loops was such a smart idea. So I could wear a belt when I want to wear these. Now, another thing about these pants is that, you know, for the most part, they're kind of dark. <laughs> I mean, I was the one who chose the colors, like the sweater sleeves and everything. But like at the time, it's the only good ones I could find. Um, and I mean, it's still, it still looks good, you know, but I think it's because the sweaters look too new. You know, like there's no fading happening. So what I can do is I can't just leave it outside in the sun so basically just sun fade them to give them that aged faded look. Um, leave it outside for like a month or something. Like this Hogwarts one, it looks super new. It's like they wore it one time and then just donated it right away or something. I don't know. Like it's pretty clean. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys liked how the pants turned out, make sure to drop a like, hit that sub button so I'd really appreciate it. We're almost at 18,000, which is freaking insane. It's crazy quick. Join my Discord if you guys wanna meet some really chill people who are also into this stuff or you guys wanna get into it. Everyone there is super friendly and helpful. Follow my Instagram, at Julius Nathan. If you wanna keep up to date with what I'm working on, I usually post stuff on my story. I'm trying to post more, but I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out, peace.